Okay, I was up late last night uh, to listen to the uh, conference call that, uh, that uh, Tesla put out and uh, as predicted, as we were told, it's about autopilot version 2. Now, sorry for some of the confusion out there. Uh, Elon was posting some tweets and stuff saying that it was possibly about Model 3's uh, second part reveal and that's certainly not the case. So, But it does pertain to the Model 3, so we'll get into that in a little bit. So, autopilot 2 is... Uh, Let's just get down to the basics here. It basically consists of a new sensor suite in the vehicle, some new computer technology, and some software improvements. So the, the main benefits over Autopilot version 1 that's currently in the cars is that it allows for full Level 5 autonomy. Now, Level 5 is the true driverless in the sense that a driver doesn't even need to be in the driver's seat or even in the vehicle. Um, this is part of uh, Tesla's long-term plan for Part 2, uh, Master Plan Part 2, where the vehicles could be part of a fleet and you could loan your vehicle out to actually make money without you being in the vehicle. So that's really what level five is all about. So this sensor suite allows for that without any intermediaries or any upgrades at that point. The sensor suite is going into, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the current cars coming off the line as of yesterday, as what he said today. Um, so that includes Model S and Model X and it, the same sensor suite will be in the Model 3. Um, the second part of that is software. We'll, we'll talk about that um, very shortly. Um, Tesla said that they've also spent um, already over a year testing this new hardware. So um, they have a pretty good leg up on the, on the system. Um, so having said that, let's talk about the hardware specifically. Um, Autopilot version 2 uh, consists of eight cameras positioned around the vehicle. Um, the current Autopilot, as you may or may not be aware, has one forward-facing camera uh, right behind the rearview mirror and it has a single uh, radar sensor in the front and 12 ultrasonic sensors around the vehicle. So the new system consists of eight cameras and they're positioned this way as I'll put up some graphics. There are three forward facing cameras in the new rear view mirror housing and these cameras have a main camera, a narrow angle camera and a, and a wide focus camera. These cameras are used to detect things like uh, street signs and lights, uh, pedestrians, um, that kind of thing. So that's what those, two, uh, those three cameras are about. There are two more cameras and they're redundant cameras positioned in the B pillars. Now the B pillars are the, um, the ones behind, you know, sort of the driver and the passenger side that hold up the midpoint of the, uh, of the vehicle. They're positioned up high. And these are redundant cameras, forward-looking redundant cameras. So if anything ever happens to the front, at least we have these other cameras as a redundancy. This is part of what Elon had mentioned before, that they were looking at adding some redundancy in the camera system. There are two more cameras, and they are positioned in the side markers, or what they call the side repeaters. These are little flashers on the side of the car. And these are rearward facing cameras. They have a fairly wide angle on them, so they're pointing kind of rearwards. And then the last camera is located in the back in the trunk by the license plate. This is the kind of the standard camera that's used in the Model S and Model X as the, as the, as the backup camera. Uh, but this camera now is also used as part of the uh, autopilot sensor suite now. So it's been elevated uh, to, um, um, you know, an important camera as far as that's concerned. Also want to mention about the cameras. Elon said that the cameras all have heater elements around them to prevent things like ice and snow buildup around them. So... Uh, you know, I don't think there's really going to be worries about that kind of situation. So that's, that's good that they were actually thinking about that. He also mentioned, too, that the cameras are positioned in such a way and they're embedded in the vehicle where, at first glance, you can't even see them. And they didn't want to have any protuberances on the, on the car to make it obvious that there's a bunch of cameras. So they're all very well hidden. So it's not going to make the car uh, ugly. So that's, that's good that they're paying attention to the looks of this type of thing. The other part of this is... Um, they have 12 improved sonar sensors around the vehicle. Now, now have a, 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 the double the range, so it's 8 meters or 26 feet. Um, so it's a pretty big improvement that way. And the, the other part of this, too, is that they have improved uh, GPS chip on board, so it's a lot more accurate. They have an improved IMU, or inertial um, measurement unit, um, and a few other little tweaks and stuff. Um, the main one... Uh, as part of this is is a new computer system. It's a it's a it's a dedicated computer system in the car, and it's uh, being run by an Nvidia Titan GPU. Um, and Elon said that it has uh, 40 times the computing power of the current system that's in the vehicle. It should be mentioned that it's not um, 
a mobilized system, and this is Tesla's own design using an NVIDIA C, uh, GPU in it, so it's got some pretty serious hor horsepower. Now, the software suite um, that Tesla has developed for this is called Tes Tesla Vision, and it's a deep neural net system. It's a, it's a self-learning system as part of the fleet learning system. Um, they've also said that the, the software operates in what's called shadow mode. So even if you don't have autopilot enabled or even an autopilot purchased vehicle, so if you didn't buy the vehicle, the software is still in the vehicle and it's still learning in shadow mode in the background and it's sending that out to the fleet. So while you may not purchase autopilot right off the bat, the software is actually still present in the vehicle, it's just not being actively used. So it's part of their, their learning mechanism. And the last point uh, that, that uh, to dispel any rumors that have been floating around the internet that there are no retrofits available for this. So if you bought an autopilot version one car or took delivery of a Model X, uh, you know, where the housing might have fit a second camera, there's, there's no retrofits available for this kind of thing. Uh, the wiring harnesses are different, the technology is completely different. So you really have to purchase a new vehicle to get this. But at least for Model 3 reservation holders, this is great news because all of this hardware we've been talking about is built into the vehicle from the factory. Remember, a lot of these features as far as autopilot are enabled via software update, and that's a purchase function, and that's something you have to do either at the time you buy the vehicle or you can do an in-app purchase, so to speak, after the fact. So now a little bit of bad news about Autopilot. Um, Autopilot version two consists of actually two software upgrades as far as the vehicle is concerned. So the first part is uh, what they call enhanced Autopilot. And that basically gives you all the same capabilities as Autopilot version one does now, plus a few other things like automatic uh, vehicle uh, passing capability on the highways, um, enhanced curve taking, um, a bunch of things like that. And then the second part is the full self-driving capability, which is available as a software upgrade. <clears throat> and that will be sent out to the fleet in, in incremental upgrades over the next year, year and a half. The bad part really is the pricing. So autopilot now, the base enhanced autopilot now is a $5,000 US option or $6,600 Canadian option. It's pretty expensive. Uh, that's if you buy the car uh, with it equipped right off the bat. If you decide to do an upgrade down the road, it's $6,000 US or uh, $7,900 Canadian. The self-driving capability is another add-on. That's $3,000 US if you buy the vehicle at first or $4,000 Canadian. Or if you upgrade after that, it's $4,000 US and uh, $5,300 Canadian. So pretty expensive options. By the way, it's a little bit more expensive on the, uh, on the Model X. But keep in mind... The Model S and the Model X are both technology leaders for Tesla, so they are using these as test beds to really perfect the software, and uh, these are pretty high profit uh, generating options. So uh, the people who are buying these vehicles are really paving the way so that the Model 3 down the road will really benefit from economies of scale. So we're still hoping that these prices will be a lot more reasonable. Uh, for the Model 3 when the time actually comes. So even though these are expensive options now, we're hoping in a, in a year's time um, or a little bit more once the Model 3 rolls out that these options hopefully will be a little bit cheaper. So we're keeping our fingers crossed on that. Now the last part of the software I should mention that Elon did mention that the Autopilot version 2 that's currently put into the vehicles, the software is not as good as the current Autopilot or the previous Autopilot version 1. And that really has to do because of the breakup, the rather public breakup uh, with Mobileye who are responsible for more of the lane steering and, and that type of technology. So Tesla's really rolling their own software on this kind of thing. So they did say that the initial version of Autopilot uh, 2.0 uh, software in the cars would not be quite as good. Um, but by December or shortly thereafter, it should be at least on par. And then a few months later after that, when they send out another upgrade, then it will really start improving and really take advantage of all the new sensors. And then, of course, over time, the full self-driving capabilities will be realized in the system. Another interesting little tidbit that Elon offered is that they're hoping, and they're very confident, that by the end of next year, they will be able to demonstrate a fully autonomous vehicle driving from L.A. to New York without any driver input. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Now, lucky for all of us, Tesla has posted their first video of a Model X fully equipped with Autopilot 2 hardware and software and taking a driver, so to speak, uh, from his home all the way to work and the car even finding its own parking spot. I'll post a video at the end of this uh, video and you can watch it. Now, I, I did have to take out the audio from it because it involves a song, uh, Painted Black, which is quite cool, 
from the Rolling Stones, but unfortunately I can't leave it in there because I'm going to get in all kinds of trouble with YouTube uh, copyright violations and stuff. So I'll find some other music to put on there. But I'll also put a link in the show in the um, in the video description. You can watch it on Tesla's website. So I hope that explains what's really going on uh, with this. It's really exciting news. Uh, the industry is certainly going to be agog about this. Um, so we're really seeing that Tesla really is the first company to have um, a full sensor suite already shipping in a vehicle at no extra cost. So this is uh, pretty exciting stuff. So anyways, that's it for today. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Model3Owners, and you can join our, our Model3OwnersClub.com uh, website. We're also on Facebook. And uh, don't forget to subscribe because that way you get notices of uh, new videos that we put out. And uh, lastly, I want to mention, I, sometimes I forget to mention this, uh, we do have a Patreon page. Uh, it's patreon.com forward slash model3ownersclub. And uh, you can pledge in there uh, to help keep this channel going and stuff. So we really appreciate any pledges that are out there who want to participate. So thanks, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.